We're at about over 2 million shots a day, which is a significant increase since when he took office, uh, happening around the country. And we, we want to hold ourselves to a very high standard. Setting goals and meeting them. 100 million COVID vaccines have now been administered in the United States, and Florida is one step closer to making all adults vaccine eligible. The age limit now dropping to 50 years and up on Monday. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacey Scheibel. Aid on Your Side spoke exclusively with White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki today. Justin Shecker is the one who spoke with her. He joins us live tonight. Justin? Keith and Stacy, good evening. Next week, nearly 3 million more Floridians will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. Now, our exclusive interview with White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki covered the COVID vaccine rollout and Florida's response to the pandemic. Tonight, America is ahead of schedule, reaching President Biden's goal of 100 million shots in arms on his 58th day in office. So what's President Biden's next vaccine goal? Well, stay tuned. Uh, we're, we're trying to figure out uh, what, is, uh, what is the best goal, what is the right number to put out there. After our interview with the White House press secretary, the president suggested the country may hit 200 million vaccines administered in his first 100 days. Jen Psaki tells Eight on Your Side there will be enough vaccine supply for every adult to be eligible in May. Here in Hillsborough County, we could definitely have more people vaccinated through the state sites as well as the federal sites. The lines at the Tampa Greyhound track will likely get longer again on Monday when Floridians 50 and older will qualify to get a shot in their arm. I think the demand has been relatively modest. Eight on your side asked Press Secretary Saki about Governor Ron DeSantis claiming that Florida is being shortchanged in the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan because of its lower unemployment rate. Should Florida be receiving more money based on being one of the most populated states in the nation? Well, we certainly want the people of Florida to benefit uh, from this package, and it's all done by a calculation based on where the needs are, uh, where there are the greatest needs. I will say, though, that $9.2 billion in state relief, fiscal relief, is going to Florida, $7.6 billion in local fiscal relief, $7 billion in relief, in relief for K-12 through schools. And that doesn't even count, Justin, the 89% of people in the state who are eligible for direct payments. He just published an essay in the Wall Street Journal. He's been telling that, you know, he got things right that other states with stricter restrictions got wrong. So what is the White House's response to Florida's approach? You know, there's been no statewide mask mandate. We've been pretty much open since September. You know, are there lessons that other states and, and the White House can learn from what Florida has done during this pandemic? Well, look, I, I think that every state has different, taken different approaches, and some states have followed guidelines, including localities have covered guide, have followed guidelines in Florida, even if the governor has not mandated those. So uh, it's hard to kind of analyze overall what the impact of his policies have been. I will say, though, you know, 1.9 million people in the state have been infected with COVID. And the governor says he believes as the age is lower, the demand for the vaccine decreases. Now, you can make an appointment uh, by going to myvaccine.fl.gov, your county or retail pharmacy website. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.